Hello everyone. From February to March 2021, the British Library ran a project asking children across the country to step inside their own stories and make concertina books with themselves in the starring role. Together they created a library of all our stories. Here is a taste of their brilliant work, animated by Alan Fatimaharan. The music, Daily Beetle, by Kevin MacLeod, is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution license. The children depicted in the animation come from all cultures. There are brown faces and white faces, straight hair, curly hair, red, black and blonde. One little boy balances brilliantly on a branch, his one leg dangling. A girl in a wheelchair is totally absorbed in her book. They are all focused on their shared joy of reading. In an old gnarled oak tree atop a grassy bank, eleven children sit on the branches or curl up in the clefts where the boughs meet the trunk. Some let their legs dangle over the edge, some are curled up, knees tucked into their chests, but all are engrossed in reading their tiny, brightly coloured books. They are dressed in jeans and jumpers or striped tops in blues, oranges and reds, lace-up trainers on their feet. The concertina books surround them, nestling on and around the branches and the green leaves of the tree. Some are open and we see the beautiful pictures of their imaginative stories. Some are closed. Some are brightly coloured and some just plain paper. Drawings of monsters vie with pictures of ballerinas. There are dogs, very smart houses, cooks, poppies, toads, wizards, rabbits, scientists, unicorns, bicycles, rivers, rainbows and football, to mention just a few of the ideas in their glorious adventures. As we begin, the library of all our stories is written in white across an orange ribbon that streams out behind a bright red diamond-shaped kite. From the bottom of the kite, two thin red ribbons with orange bows swirl in the air as the kite flies round and round the tree, showing us all the books, until it finally comes to rest across the topmost branches. As the kite flies away, a young girl is perched on a branch of the tree, legs dangling amongst concertina books. An open book with a girl's head and dancer's feet is wedged in the leaves near a curly-haired boy with huge round glasses who sits reading. At the end of a branch, a boy excitedly clutches a red book, whilst below him, a small girl has an orange Alice band holding back her curls as she reads. Maximilian's diary and a Who Am I book lie on the boughs and we glimpse pictures between the folds. A little boy in a striped top, one red-shoed leg dangling, is surrounded by Me and the Wizard and Marin the Magnificent. Another boy curls up at the centre of the oak, smiling as he reads. Clive and Tiff like to sleep in a football adventure perched next to a red-headed boy on a thin limb of the tree and a red squirrel peeps out of a hollow, gazing up in surprise. A young girl sits cross-legged amongst the leaves, her head buried in a book, only one eye and her blonde ponytail visible. As we swirl back across the tree, an orange-beaked owl snoozes in its nest and books of river escapades and bicycle rides hover above a scampering squirrel. Books burrow in holes in the trunk. As we float back again, we pass another boy nestled on a branch. Books with illustrations of a Nutella jar, panda bears and one with real scrabble tiles unfold beneath them. A young Sikh boy is wedged between a bough and a thin branch. Manila's magical adventure and magical tale of Candyland behind him. In another hollow, books adorned with feathers settle as if in a nest. On a ground level branch, a girl in a bright red dress sits in a wheelchair, her feet planted solidly on the wide bough as she concentrates on the book in her hands. As the tall tree is revealed, its roots spreading deep into the grassy bank, the kite comes to rest. The branches are crowded with the concertina books created by so many imaginations, hanging like decorations around eleven totally absorbed children. 
Huge thanks to the wonderful children and their teachers who sent us their stories. Together, you created this library of all our stories.